Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, a.k.a. Red Beard. Ah, still a little wet. Just took a shower. Um, today, I'm going to go ahead and knock out another installment of the uh, sample pack that I brought back from Cabo. This is La Gita Mezcal Reposado. So, I'm going to, I got my computer pulled up here. I'm going to read off a little bit. It says, uh, Mezcal Lejita is a classic smoky and earthy mezcal produced by the renowned Liquors Veracruz. Triple distilled and aged in oak cast for over five months. Five months. Five long months. Which produces a rested taste and quality. Every bottle contains a single agave worm. And this one is no different. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? You might be able to see it. See it going back and forth. Anyway, so even these little 50 ml bottles have a, uh, have a worm in it. Uh, so, which is a traditional guarantee of mezcal quality. This 100% agave mezcal was awarded the coveted title of best mezcal in the USA market in 1997 which is a result of the founder, Don Jose Villanueva. All right, so... Uh, so the technique for making mezcal, I'm, I'm still reading off, mind you, this isn't coming out of my own head. The technique for making mezcal remains true to the traditions used by the Spanish conquistadors, and remarkably little has changed. It consists of five steps, the culture of the plant, cooking in a lined, covered hole in the ground or clay oven, pounding, fermenting, and distilling. Most domestic mezcal, unlike tequila, is distilled twice, and for export markets where a higher quality is required, mezcal lajita is distilled three times to eliminate any impurities, especially methanol and excesses of copper, which are commonly found in some mezcal. The mezcal is then left to mature for a minimum of three months to over a year. So, anybody who listens to the podcast knows that uh, we have a running rule on it, and I'm not going to give away the, the rule, but if you're caught breaking said rule, you have to take a shot of mezcal. And it's another one up there. It also has a worm in the bottle. So... Automatically, it's smoky, very, very earthy, and it almost, it's almost like burnt plastic. Oh, goodness. Cheers. I do this for you folks. Yeah, it's same as the nose. Smoky, earthy, very char, char heavy. Not from the barrel, but what are you doing? Uh, it's not near as potent as the other one that I have for the rule breakers, but I think this would probably be better off in some type of cocktail. What is it? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what you put this in. No, it's just, it's almost like burnt plastic. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to taste anything else other than burnt plastic for the rest of the day. <sighs> Goodness. I guess I'll finish smoking that cigar. <laughs> um, yeah, I think on a on the one to ten scale, I'm gonna have to give it like a four. This is not enjoyable, at least not to me. And I like smoky peated scotches. This just there's nothing good in my and I hate to say it because I'm sure there's some mixologists out there that can... Uh, what? What? Why are you whining? Quit whining. 
I'm sure there's some mixo. Sure, come up in my lap. Uh, I'm sure there's some mixologists out there who probably do. She didn't run away from it. Weird. She does eat her own poop, so you can't trust her opinion. Huh. So anyway, I'm sure there's some mixologists out there who could take this and make a lovely uh, cocktail. But as far as it by itself, it's not tasty at all. Uh, yeah, it's it's low, low, low. It's four, three and a half, four. Um, I mean, I took a second sip, so it's not a one. But yeah, it's just not. It's it's not enjoyable by itself. So, all right, that's all I got. And I hate to say it, like that. That was the best mezcal in 1997. Man, those people back then had a shitty taste. Isn't that right, Bonnie? Anyway, that's all I got. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. I'm not going to drink any more of that. Uh, yeah, so check out Tattered Beans. Order some coffee from me. It's pretty tasty. Check out the Bearded Idiots. We're funny. And uh, like always, folks, drink some whiskey. Share it with your friends and family. And uh, have a nice day. Take care.